So Look UK, we're holding a fashion and beauty event on the 28th of August for young people to come and get some top tips about fashion and beauty. It'll be at the John Lewis in the Bullring, Birmingham on the 28th of August and we'll have some VI fashion bloggers there to give some advice about how you can access fashion and beauty as a visually impaired person. In the spirit of the fashion event, we thought we'd have a bit of a conversation with some of our mentors about fashion and beauty. Everyone does have their own opinion, so you can buy one thing that three people are saying is really nice, and then the next person you meet like really doesn't like it. Um, I find that quite hard to know how to make my own opinion about what I'm wearing. And I feel that when I'm buying stuff uh, for work, I find that sort of relatively easy because I don't really vary things that much. I just do smart casual. I just have a few pairs of trousers, a few shirts. I know they all go well with each other. But when I look at sort of the more casual stuff, you know, stuff that I wear in my spare time, I'm, I'm completely clueless, to be honest. Sighted people have asked me before, if you can't see yourself, why does it matter? I why, why do you care? I don't want to reinforce the impression that people have that blind people are incapable. And going out being considered to not match or n not dressed well, I feel more prepared if I know that a lot of people have approved an outfit. And it's not just important for yourself, it's important for your job as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because if you're working with customers or clients, you, you go to them, they'll judge you, even if you don't yeah. judge yourself. Yeah. They will uh, make a snap decision and that could affect you know, how they treat you when you're working with them. The dress I was wearing earlier and matched um, the necklace that I wore today and um, I actually had no idea that they matched, <laughs> which is That's hilarious, cool. <laughs> but really cool. But um, I knew that they were both blue, but I thought, oh, they're probably different shades. It probably looks a bit weird, but I just like the necklace. Um, but other times it's like yeah. my, um, for example, my mum and my sister or like my friends and stuff. I always say, oh, like, how, how well does this look together? Um, and they always give me like advice and stuff. So I just kind of try and remember that. Um, as best I can. And do you but, like yeah. match? Like, how did you know they were blue? Do you remember the textures and go, right, I know that this dress feels like this, so this is the blue one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, that's how I kind of remember it by feeling like how the, um, the textures, and then obviously certain jeans, like, um, I usually wear mostly dark, like, dark jeans, like black jeans or darker colours, and then light, like, lighter shirts or similar colour. Do you do eyeliner when you can't see? I'm not there yet. Yeah. I'm, I'm getting there a bit, Shanid. <laughs> Shanid. Oh, yeah, Shanid, yeah. Shanid, oh. how do, Shanid is our makeup guru. Uh. <laughs> yeah. um, I think with me, it's mainly practice and like if I can't see, because like one eye is really lazy and then the other one I can, I have most of my vision through. So a lot of it is um, with my other eye is guessing, like making sure I'm keeping in the area I want to keep in. It is mainly practice and having confidence in yourself and believing that you can do it. Because at first, like, I remember having a discussion with my grandmother <laughs> and she was like, right, now mascara. And I was like, no, 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 I'm not doing mascara. I can never do mascara. And she was like, well, if you're not doing mascara, you can forget the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> What thing you would never, ever, ever be caught dead in? Leather. Oh, there we go. Well, Leopard print. <laughs> yes. 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 Yep. Print. A, a, Any animal a print. skirt so short uh -huh. that it just looks like a belt. <laughs> Basically nothing that anyone's suggesting at the moment. <laughs> Okay then. Thank you guys so much for uh, coming on the podcast and talking about the fashion event. Um, it's been really, really interesting. Um, so if you guys want to uh, find out more about the um, event, please email events at look-uk.org or call 01432 376 314 and look forward to chatting fashion in August. Bye-bye.